So tell us about the event you have coming up. Yeah, we're super excited about uh, this event coming up. We have a number of major fundraisers every year, uh, and in the spring, it's our annual benefit. Um, the intent is to raise sufficient funds to help support the organization. Um, what we provide is free services to men and women in the community who may find themselves in an unplanned pregnancy situation, and we're wanting to help them think through uh, a number of issues. There's there's a lot of concern that they may have at this point, and so we're wanting to help in a very loving way to talk with them about the decision they have. But the event specifically goes toward communicating some of the stories that we've had, some of the successes, um, and the intent that we have going forward in terms of our vision and what we want to do. And in order to provide those services, we need to have some support financially. And so this is an opportunity for people not only to learn more about us, but then to specifically support us and tangibly ways. You mentioned services for men. What are those services? Yeah, great question. Um, and even the name of the organization might suggest we're only providing services to women, CPC Women's Health Resource. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is we provide services to men as well. Because in a pregnancy situation, it requires a man and a woman. And so um, we, by and large, are providing services to women. But there are men who would come along as well and um, information related to the pregnancy, um, what that means for them, the implications. Um, all of that is, is another level of service that we provide to men specifically. What services do you provide for women? Yeah, there are a number of services that we provide. Um, by and large, the primary service that we offer are, is pregnancy testing. So a woman comes in, she's Mr. Period, she's thinking, I may be pregnant, I'm not sure. Um, and so we're helping to answer that question. We, we give them a pregnancy test. It would be a commercially graded pregnancy test, so a better quality test. But in addition to that, we would schedule and uh, can schedule an ultrasound. An ultrasound is um, uh, the only 100% 100 verifiable way to determine the accuracy of a pregnancy. So if they're coming in wondering, um, the pregnancy test initially, and then to verify that pregnancy by virtue of an ultrasound, and then that's helping them to, to see this life that's growing within them. So that's one of the, the services that we provide, and it's, it's a primary service. But to the degree that women are thinking about this issue and end up choosing life for uh, their baby, we recognize that there may not be the, the financial support or the material items that they would have themselves in order to, to be able to do this. So we want to help equip them as best we can to, to give them the resources to do this. So um, we offer parenting classes uh, to women. Um, as they're thinking about parenting, they may have a good example of what parenting looks like, they may not. Um, and so we're helping them to think about the various issues that will come naturally with, with uh, the pregnancy and with raising children. Um, and in exchange for taking the classes, they earn points. The points are then redeemed for material items, cribs, diapers, uh, onesies, diapers, formula, all of those sorts of things. So it's a means of helping them understand what's involved, as well as then providing the resources that they will invariably need uh, for their little one. So that's a big part of what we do. And functionally, we just really want to love on the girls. Um, we want to help them think about these issues and w as an advocate or somebody coming alongside of them and just working with them in a way um, that's just helping them think through issues and answer questions that, that come along the way. It sounds like there's support for before and after the baby is born. Yes, that would be true. Um, our intent is, to, is from the point where they're thinking, I may be pregnant, to the point even after they've had their baby, to 12 months even after they've had their baby. Um, we're providing just a, a litany of services that they can receive. Again, the clarification of the pregnancy, helping them talk through nutritional things during their, their pregnancy, um, and then after the baby is born to, again, provide those material items that they're going to need, parenting classes, and then cribs and, and mattresses and all those sorts of things, again, that they're going to need. So it really is intended for a year and a half uh, or so, 18 months or so, um, through this period that we're providing uh, some service to them. What is the specific date and time of the event, and what can people expect? The event is on April 20th. Uh, it's at 7 uh, o'clock. Um, we have hors d'oeuvres at 5.30. It's at Archbold High School. So it's a Thursday night. That would be a week from this coming Thursday. Um, and so what, we, what we've what we tried to do in this is to make it just a really a great evening. Food is always great. People love food. Uh, so we have plenty of hors d'oeuvres and, and uh, really very... Um, Incur good stuff, I guess, mm -hmm. is the best way to say that. Um, and then in addition to that, we have silent auction items. 
items that maybe people weren't thinking of, but hey, wow, I'm here and here's a silent auction item that may be of interest to me. Um, in addition to that, then of course we would have stories, live stories of, of people who have benefited from the services. We'll have a speaker. Um, a highlight of the evening will be a live ultrasound. Maybe someone hasn't really seen what's involved when they go through an ultrasound. So we'll have an ultrasound model on stage and we'll be doing a live ultrasound so they can see that. And then, of course, there will be an opportunity for them to specifically invest in us by virtue of, of making a contribution to us. Does a success story come to mind? There are lots of stories where um, because of some involvement that we have had with women coming through our doors, um, that are huge successes. Not every story we have is a success, but there are plenty that are. Because I'm on the, on the administrative side, I don't necessarily get as involved with a lot of the, the frontline counseling pieces, but there is one story um, that really resonates well with me. I was sitting in my office and I was doing work and I noticed that a woman had pulled up and had parked and um, was sitting in her car, not coming out. And I had noticed it, but I didn't think much about it until a few minutes later, I had seen her walking up and down the sidewalk on the phone crying, quite emotional. And so I got up thinking, here's a woman who's in a situation where she needs to have some, somebody to connect with and some level of counsel. So I went over to the clinic side and said, do you have an appointment? And there was a lady who called and she said she may be coming in, but they're not really sure. And I said, I think she's outside and you might want to connect with her. She doesn't want an old guy coming out to say <laughs> hey to her. She would really rather have um, someone here. So they went out and, and connected with her, brought her in, um, began to have a conversation. I then continued my work in my office. And then all of a sudden, I had a knock on my door from the office manager coming in saying, you're needed here. And so I came over. We had conversations. She didn't feel like anybody cared for her. And I said, I just want you to, to know that you've got a lot of people who are caring for you. I noticed you when you came by, and you're connecting here, and there's a level of care. And she was touched by that. She ended up choosing life for her baby. She came back about a year or so later and sought me out specifically, and um, tender and sweet. And she said, you know, really, it's because of you that I have my little son. I wouldn't have my baby if it weren't for you, which I thought was incredibly sweet. And the reality is, is we're just tools to be used of, of God to, to be able to connect and to help people make wise decisions. That was an opportunity and a blessing that I had received and a, certainly a blessing for her. So those sorts of tender stories are what we receive and deal with on a regular basis. So it's, it's a great organization to be a part of. For people who can't come to this event, how can they volunteer or support your organization? Yeah, great question. Um, oftentimes, because there's so much going on in people's lives, it's hard sometimes to make a specific evening. Um, we want to make it as easy as we possibly can for people who have a level of interest of either volunteering or financially supporting us. Um, if you go to our website, cpcnwo.org, um, there's a whole lot of information there in terms of how you can connect. You can do some volunteer. You can fill out a form that would send us information um, of how to specifically be involved. Um, and we recognize this is sort of a, um, a connection with people in, in, in ways where we're not only receiving things online, but we're also making phone calls. So if they don't have Internet access or just um, have a difficult, a difficult time getting uh, online, um, they can call us, and we'd be happy to take the information as well as receive donations that way as well. Uh, the phone number that they would want to contact is um, just the Bryan CPC, uh, but it's 419-636-5692. It's kind of a lot to remember, but um, <laughs> hopefully that, that's uh, enough mm -hmm. information. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time. Thank you. This is Natalie Re Meyer reporting for ABEX Community News. Now, Brittany, you've been involved in the ABEX program for three months now. What are your thoughts on the program? It's definitely helped me boost my confidence a lot. I've met so many great new people in my community that I never would have had the chance to meet otherwise. It's really just been great for me overall. And would you recommend this for other students? Oh, definitely. If you ever want the chance to get out in your community and really just meet new people, it's a great opportunity to do that. And Ann, we want to thank you so much for being one of the sponsors, uh, Spangler Candy being the sponsors of this program. What are your thoughts on the program? Well, it's great to see the young people out doing stuff that gets them involved in the community. Well, thank you so much for your time. Well, you're welcome. Thank you.